So we can find the slopes of these functions. So for the y, for a, example a, it's y equals x cubed plus 2x squared. And we want to find it at x equals 0. So I'm going to let the a value equal 0. That's where I want to find the slope. And I'm going to change, see what happens to the slope. So here's my slope calculation. And as I let the h value go towards 0, so as I bring those points closer and closer together, you can see that the slope value changes. And as we get right to that point, it's undefined. But just before I hit that point, it's approaching a value of 0. So this is negative. From this side, it's negative close to 0. From this side, it's positive close to 0. Okay, so we can safely assume that the, and we can see clearly the slope is actually 0 for that example. So if we change this one to sine x, there it is at pi over 2. Okay, so I'm just going to change the, the steps here to pi over 2. So we can see the, the values here. Okay, so at pi over 2, we can see again the slope looks like it's going to be 0. So I'm going to let my a value be uh, pi over 2. So I'm going to let this be pi over 2. Okay, and I'm going to let the h value change. So as we approach that pi over 2 value, so as h goes to 0, we can see that it's undefined right at that point. But it, again, the slope, if you look at the slope values, the slope values are approaching 0 as we approach that point. Okay, so it's undefined right at that point, but you can see that the slope values are changing. They're getting closer and closer to 0 as we get close to that point. Okay, so the last one here is log x, and I'm just going to change that here. So we'll put a slider in for a. Okay, actually we'll let a equal 1 okay, for this problem. And uh, I'm just going to change these to the x-axis values again. So let's make our steps equal to 1. So, And we can see that at that point, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We want to know the slope right at a equals 1. So you notice that as we bring that point closer together, we can see the slope value changing. And that slope value is getting closer and closer to 1. But it, right at that point, it's undefined because we have a 0 over 0. So we can see the limit is looking like it's approaching 1. Okay, so from both sides, it looks like it's approaching a slope value of 1. Okay, so there it is. So that's using our what we call the definition of the derivative. We're just bringing that using the limit to find the slope value at that exact point. So we're going to look at this problem algebraically though because as we look at this algebraically we run into a little bit of problem. We'll show you in a second.